a student here at the University of North Texas. I am working on my undergraduate degree and hope to start grad studies next fall. I'm working on a degree towards creative writing. I, I want to teach classical lit and creative writing. John Bramblett is a bright young man with a head full of ideas, concepts and bits of memory that amount to stories he's learning to tell with pen and paper. His dream demands a lot of work and a lot of reading, but these days reading isn't so easy for John. Seems our budding author has a story of his own. Whenever, whenever I first lost my sight, I was really angry. I, I, I was so angry, I wouldn't even admit that I was angry. I was angry at everything, at the world, and my, my life, it seemed like. It seemed like everything that I, I don't know, was important was sort of taken away. I, I couldn't leave the apartment on my own. Um, I couldn't read anymore, I couldn't write anymore. I used to be the type of person that would always have a book. You'd always have a, you know, like a, like a paperback novel in your back pocket. And, but. Whenever my sight went, I, I couldn't, you know, I had to relearn how to read in a new way, and, you know, I wanted something that I could really get my hands on. And, and I remembered my mom painting when I, when I was young and how calm it made her. And I was so angry at the time. Anything that sounded like it was calming sounded, sounded like a great thing. And I'd thought about painting before, but I, I, um, I don't know, I don't know, it may, may sound horrible to say, but I, I never thought I'd be any good at it. And then when I lost my sight, I thought, well, if I'm no good at it, I'll never be able to, I won't have to look at it anyway, so might as well give it a try. He paints studies in shape and form, but John Bramblett can't see his canvas. He fills his art with bright colors, but John can't see the difference between red and blue. Some call his art amazing, others claim it's impossible. But this is no parlor trick. You see, John has developed a process that allows him to paint by touch. When I first started painting, I, I, I never thought about showing them to anybody, and um, ever. And um, I just did it because I, I thought it was something I, I needed to do. I needed to have an outlet. If I hadn't lost my sight, I, I don't think I ever would have started painting. It, um, the, whole, the whole beginning of, of painting really was symbolic. It was, um, you know, to prove that I, that I, I still had some sort of perception. I could still see. It seems like it might be different, but um, the only difference really is is that instead of using my eyes to see the painting, I, I use my fingertips. Even the the, di the different colors of paint f feel different. Where white will feel really thick, like toothpaste, and black is a little runny, a little, little bit like oil. So if I want a gray that's halfway in between, I can mix the white and the gray until, in, until the texture feels like it's a little bit thick, a little bit runny. Call it crazy, call it courageous, call it a case of blind ambition. For John, it's simple, really. Epilepsy took away his vision, but it didn't change the fact that this aspiring author has stories to tell. Sight or no sight, some dreams die hard. Painting is something I just have to do. I just, I, I just have these images in my head, and um, I, I got to get them out. College has been quite a journey for John Bramblett. Somewhere along the way, he lost his sense of sight, but found his sense of self. What began as a desperate outlet for a trapped mind has become a fledgling career in the visual arts for a young man who's visually impaired. Now, as he prepares to graduate, John looks forward to a life of creativity, of showing others how he sees the world. I'm definitely following my, my passions, and, and I, I am so lucky to be able to do that. It's, it doesn't feel like work. It, it's just, it's, it's, it's amazing. I don't know. Whenever all this first occurred, you know, year, years ago, I, I didn't think I'd ever feel any fraction of that, and I feel better than I ever have in my life. You know, when I'm excited, you know, after, I just feel more complete, happier. <laughs>